Hello everybody, welcome to Collaboration Coach, it's Matt. And in this video, we're gonna talk about SharePoint hub sites. And before we get started, if you like these videos, then please like and subscribe, because it really helps. So I'm gonna use an example to help me explain what hub sites are. And in this scenario, let's imagine we're in the marketing department of a company and the marketing department has lots of sites all over the place. And these are four examples, these circles here. So we've got these disparate sites and perhaps one site's in the UK, one's in the US and so on. What we wanna do is have a, a single hub site to join all these disparate sites together. So what we can do is create a new site or use an existing one and call that our hub site. And the hub site will join the four other sites together. So there'll be a link from each one and you'll see the hub and spoke illustration starts to come to life. So in my demonstration, I'm gonna call this hub site Marketing Central. So what happens when you join sites up with a hub site? There are three main things that it does. First of all, it aggregates the news. So you've got common news and site activity across all the sites. Number two, is you get common navigation and branding across all sites. And then you can also search across all sites. So if I go to the hub site, I'll be able to do a search that goes across all the sites associated with it. So let's switch to the browser now and see what this actually looks like. I've got a communication SharePoint site here called Contoso Marketing Central. And this is my hub site. Now you can see what's slightly different to the usual communication sites that we've got this menu system along the top here. So Contoso Marketing Center is the hub, and then we've got Contoso Insider, Product Marketing, Electronic Events. So they're three of our sites that we just talked about. Now, when I scroll down, you'll also see that in the news section, we've got news items from other sites as well. So here's some for electronic events. So it's aggregating the news into the hub site. And then further down in the document activity, you can see that we've got documents from Contoso Insider, from Product Marketing, all in the same view. You'll also see if I go to the search on the hub site and I start to type the name of a file, you'll see it's pulling suggestions from Contoso Marketing Central, which is the hub site, but also Contoso Insider and Product Marketing. Now I've got some tabs open along the top here and you'll see if I go to the Contoso Insider tab, I'm at the new site but I still have the common navigation here at the top. And I also have the same branding as Contoso Marketing Central, the same navigation, header, and colors of the header as well. If I switch to product marketing, you can see it's the same deal. And then I also have the electronic events site here, which is a team site, not a communication site, but you can still see that it's inherited the navigation and the look and feel. And you can see here are those news items that you were seeing on the homepage of Marketing Central. I've got one final example here. The marketing campaign site isn't currently associated with any hub site. You can see it hasn't got the navigation or the branding. Now hub sites are very flexible, so they allow site owners to add or take away their site from the hub site association anytime they like. And they can do that by going to the site information section of their site. So if I click on the wheel here, go to site information, you'll see down here, I've got a hub site association dropdown. And here I'll see the hub site that I want to associate with, and I can just choose it, Contoso Marketing Central. Hit save. And immediately you'll see the site come back and now it's associated itself with the hub site and it has the navigation and the branding. Okay, that's your lot for this time. That's all about SharePoint hub sites. And if these videos are useful, then please like and subscribe.